Today, I'm in the woodyard. Why is my trailer way up there? Something's gotta be done about that. Here we go. So yesterday, I stacked until I ran out of time that I had available, and I threw off the pieces off to the side here that need to be re-split, which is not really that many considering that I stacked about half the trailer full already. I brought my splitter over here so we can do the re-splits and then stack it. And in the trailer, there is about half the wood left. Maybe, yeah, probably about half, because it was heaping. And a bunch up front there is already, already emptied out. So I've been stacking it right here and then over here. So that's what I'm going to continue with. So I am going to stack what I can grab out of here, which works really fast to do it that way. And then the stuff that needs to be resplit, I'm just going to toss over there, resplit it, and then stack it over there. So I have found this is about the fastest way to do it. If I keep all the wood in the trailer instead of dumping it on the ground, I can grab it, stack it, or toss it, and then split it, and then stack it from there. And then all the debris stays right in the trailer, which works out really well. And that's what's going to happen. Now, unfortunately, today is going to be a rainy day. Uh, it's morning right now. It's really dark to the west, and they said severe thunderstorms, heavy monsoon-type rains are on their way. So I don't know how much time I'm going to have. Hopefully I can get this done at least. That's my plan, and then maybe I'll have to work inside. But I'm thinking maybe if I could get an hour, I could get most of this done. So here we go. It's time to get to work. So the thing I like best about stacking out of the trailer is, look, I'm standing straight up and down. The wood comes to me. I don't have to bend over because that is an issue. Um, I don't mind bending over, but after four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 hours of bending over and picking up wood, it gets old. So standing up is really nice. And I'm right where I'm stacking it here. So I grab it, stack it. I don't have to take two steps even. It's like one step and throw it on the pile. So this is nice. I like this, uh, being able to just grab it and go. And uh, the only thing that I got to do is possibly get a... 12 or a 16 way wedge so like stuff like this it's not terrible i mean this is ash it'll dry pretty quick but i really would like to split this one more time so i'm just tossing it over there so anything i get that needs to be split again i'm throwing over into that pile but most of it i just stack right away uh, i do want some stuff that's a little bit bigger because i do have some customers that heat and they want some bigger chunks but for the most part the people i sell to this is what they want right here this size wood you know, no more than about three inches. And the reason I want it also that size, and I've said this many times, is it dries faster. And you know that if it's split smaller, it will dry faster. Because if you take a big chunk, this is not a big one, but even this one, this would still dry again because it's ash. But if I split this in half one more time, it's going to dry a lot faster. Percentage-wise, if I was to guess, I bet it dries at least 30, 40% faster. Even a piece this size right here, I want it to be more like this. This is the size I want it to be. You can see the difference there. Because this is basically just split in half. And this is a quarter here. So this needs to be split one more time. And whereas this is perfect to me. Because um, I'm not selling to people, like I've said before, I'm not selling to people that are heating their homes for the most part. Most of the people I sell to, it's for a fireplace. And this is what they want right here. This kind of stuff. Um, and even the people that are burning in the fire pits in their backyard this time of year, in the summertime, they don't want stuff that's real big either. No, here is a half, and here's a half, but the much smaller piece. So this one is light, there's nothing to it. You can see it's two inches across maybe, whereas this one is like four or five inches across. But it is a half, so this needs to be split again, in my opinion. Um, that's just me. So, I'm going to get to work now. We've got lots of stacking to do here. So even small stuff like this, that's small enough that I'm not going to split that again. I'll put that into the, into the pile. Yeah, I like this. Just grabbing it and stacking it. Works out pretty darn slick. I like this a lot. I'm going to do more of this for sure. And I know some of you have told me, why don't you just split it, grab it, stack it? Well, it's because I split hundreds crappy elm I split hundreds of cords and uh, you run out of room you just you physically can't do that all the time because you have such I have such a wide out a wide spread out area here that you just can't possibly uh, put it all right away into a pile but by using the trailer like I am it gives me the ability to do that so this is kind of nice so okay we're speeding things up now
I have a lot of the uh, the big stuff here that needs to be split. I've been throwing off to the side and I've been stacking them right here in the corner too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start up the splitter, split that stuff, stack it. Then I'm going to pull the trailer ahead so I can end up putting the splitter like right here so I don't have to carry this stuff so I can split it right here and then stack it right here. So that is the plan. There's some more good stuff in there yet that doesn't need splitting but just getting harder to reach. So I'm going to get this stuff split up real quick here and uh, get it stacked and go on from there.
Okay, so I got everything split, stacked, unloaded, all that. All that's left is debris, but there is some kindling and there might be a couple chunks. I'm gonna go drop the trailer down and uh, then I will pick through it and we'll pick out anything that's left in there that's any good. So here she comes. I have a gravity down, which is kind of nice. So here she goes. It's actually pretty fast. The first stage is real fast and then it's 50% fast on the second stage and then the third stage is slower yet. But yeah, it's just the gravity pushing it down so you're not using your battery up, which is really nice. But on my trailer, I also have a trickle charge that when it's plugged in, it's always charging. Uh, when, I'm plug when it's plugged into the truck and I'm driving, so it's always charging. And I have found that I get a good, oh, 10 or so dumps with it not charged in at all. So now I'll take a, take a look inside here and I'll show you now. I'm not going to be able to work much longer because I can hear it booming out to the west. And it's coming this direction. So pretty soon I think we're going to be rained on. I don't mind rain, but I'm, a, I'm allergic to lightning for some reason. I don't know what it is with lightning. When it hits me, I don't like it. I break out in uh, hives. So what I'm doing now is I'm just picking out stuff that's good enough for kindling. I'm going to throw that off. And then everything else is just going to stay in. So. This is kind of what I've been doing, and then I'm going to, I don't know if I'll have time before it rains, uh, hook up the bucket, and then I'll open the back of the trailer up and I'll shove all this stuff right into the, uh, the trailer, I mean into the bucket from the trailer, and go dump it. But most of it is just bark and debris. There's a few chunks in here I'll throw out. But I don't want to spend a lot of time digging through this either. This is not really worth my time to dig through for scraps. Um, but there are some, some in here that work. And I tried to get the majority of them. I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's good wood. You're throwing out good wood. Well, if you want it, you can come get it. <laughs> Put it that way. I'm just trying to pull out the useful stuff here. Yes, there are some chunks down below here that got buried. If there's chunks like this, I throw that into my cookie bin for uh, boiler wood. Oh, there's a few in here. Because as it comes down, the debris covers it. You, you can't see it. So there's some good ones in here. And then when I dump the bucket into the debris area, sometimes I'll pull out a piece or two also, bring it back, and then put it into the, the good pile. The nice pile, not the naughty pile. but it's coming. Yeah, it's just booming. I can feel it in my chest when the light thunder is really dark. That way and the rain's picking up, but it's gonna pick up the rest of this. I try to keep as much dirt in uh I try to keep as much of the bark and debris and stuff off the ground because Eventually it 
you know, it rots and then it turns into mud. And so you just kind of try to keep it clean best you can. Guess what, folks? That's it for today. It's starting to rain harder and I can hear it booming like crazy. Poke the buttons. You know what to do tomorrow. I'll be back in the woodyard at 5.30 a.m. If you can't wait that long, there's over 700 videos on my channel for you to watch right now. Go. Go now. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.